what we want to do is find a vaccine that will work against one of the most uh, serious public health challenges facing the world at the moment, and that's tuberculosis. We, um, at the moment, we don't have a good uh, vaccine. We have one that works well to uh, control disease in children, but it's adolescents that get the, the bad form of the disease and they're the ones that transmit disease. So we need a vaccine that works in that population. We currently don't have, a f have an exquisite understanding of the natural history of the disease and therefore we can't intervene effectively. So part of what I do is understand the natural history. How does the body react to this, the, the bacterium that causes tuberculosis? And then how can we manipulate that? And that's what vaccines are based on. So I'm not making a brand new vaccine that's going to be delivered in next, the next five years. I'm understanding what kind of vaccine we need. There's a feeling that tuberculosis is a disease of the past. And it is in the United States. You know, we're, we're um, a country that has overcome that issue largely. And that's a socioeconomic issue. However, the disease is, is very dramatically impacting the health and well-being of a third of the world's population. And now drug-resistant tuberculosis is on the rise throughout the world. And so we're essentially in many situations, if you've got drug-resistant tuberculosis, you're in the pre-antibiotic era. Your disease is going to progress and there was a 50% mortality in that context, you know, in the past. And so we, and, and talking to my colleagues in South Africa, who are treating people with drug-resistant tuberculosis. It's the drugs that they have to take are awful. We need new drugs. And it's really a devastating disease. This is something that we need to be working towards eliminating from this world. So at the moment, there's a movement towards host-directed therapy, which is where we manipulate not the bacterium, but the, the body's immune response. And that's very exciting uh, because we can allow uh, if you imagine that the immune response is very strong and it can damage our own tissues, and so it's very strongly regulated. So what we want to do is very carefully sort of release the, the potential of the immune response whilst at the same time keeping it so that it doesn't kill our tissues. And so that's a very delicate balance and that's what people are working on at the moment. Um, and we s that's, not, it, that's important not only for tuberculosis but for other diseases, chronic inflammatory diseases that affect the, the, the US population a lot more than tuberculosis does.